So yesterday I drove down to Hillsboro, Oregon to attend uh, Brickfest Live. And while it was a lot of kid stuff, they'd had some really interesting things for sale, including a whole bunch of, you know, like school supplies like this. And I couldn't help myself. I got the buildable ruler. It's so good. Now these are technically Lego, but they were not made by Lego. These are licensed out by uh, a company in Hong Kong, but they are officially licensed down there. So it's made using actual Lego. Comes a figure, it's nothing special. I think this was um, like $16.99. And I also got an LED light. This was 20 bucks. It's so cute. Um, I want to show you guys these printed tiles here. It's fantastic. So this is built on a pair of 4x20 base plates. I didn't even know these existed. And these might be a unique pieces. I, I have no clue. I haven't looked it up. But it's, it's fantastic. And you can build this either in 6 inch or 12 inch. And that's what these extra pieces are for. These are the ends of the six inch build. See how it, it stops there and it doesn't keep going with the little lines. So these would replace this little section right here. Not that one, this one. What am I doing? Uh, if you use one base plate, you would have it sitting right there. And then it would end. at the six inch mark. Um, and then for the colors here, that is kind of interesting. You're doing the rainbow and then when you get to purple, it's, it's brown and black instead. But like, they have purple parts. Uh, I don't get why they, <laughs> they went brown and black instead of finishing off the rainbow. Uh, but this thing's fantastic. I'll probably actually use this at some point. I don't really have a, a use for a ruler but I couldn't pass it up. It was just too, too good. Uh, the LED light, I this one still has the little pin there, so it doesn't turn on. But they had one there that had the pin removed. And um, it's not that bright. These are just basic LEDs, and there's only three of them. But like if you're in the dark, they function. There's a little power button here. You push it, and they stay on until you turn it off. Uh, it takes three triple A's, and I think it has a timer. I think it'll only stay on for 15 minutes, which is good. I mean, 15 minutes is kind of long to have it on. But, you know, it's hands-off, basically. You set it, and you set it somewhere. And then it goes, and then this is just sort of a <laughs> cap. But, like, come on. It's the lightsaber handle. I couldn't, I couldn't pass this up. This was too good. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't actually buy any official Lego products while I was there. Cause it was this, some really expensive sets. They got a bunch of UCSs and, uh, I don't know, like seven like shelve shelving units worth of, uh, all the collectible minifigure series, the CMF blind bags. So I wasn't going to buy those because I'm sure they were wildly overpriced. And it was it was like the regular series, Harry Potter. There was some, a couple Simpsons and some Muppets and the Monsters ones. Uh, nothing I was really interested in. So I just went with these and uh, I am super happy with these. They are adorable. Um, they had pencil cases, pens, colored pencils, um... What else do they have? Oh, the pencil case came with Lego-shaped erasers, uh, a 2 by 4 brick-shaped pencil sharpener with studs on them all. It was fantastic to look at and see them. I've never seen them before, but it was great. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys like these as much as I do, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.